Dr. Dave Bautista has made some major life changes over the last handful of years from his career to his financial situation as well as his real estate. While Bautista retired from the WWE in 2014 to embark on an acting career, things were quite different for him up until he scored his big break as Drax in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. In fact, before that role, he was seriously broke. He said, when I say broke, my house was foreclosed. I had nothing, man. I sold all my stuff. I sold everything that I made from when I was wrestling. I had issues with the IRS. I was just lost in everything. While he may have lost that former home, these days, Dave is living in a stunning 4,000 square foot crib in the Port Tampa area of Florida, which also boasts over two acres of land and other lux amenities. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dave Bautista long lived in a home in Lutz, Florida, which we'll take a look at after, but his current home in Tampa was quite the upgrade. According to reports, Dave bought his current home in 2014, and listing materials say it cost him just under $700,000, which is a steal because these days it's valued at $1.5 million. The contemporary abode has a slightly boxy exterior and it's also shaded by plenty of trees and greenery for privacy and seclusion. If that's not enough, there's also a gated entrance. Port Tampa Bay, where Dave's home is located, is currently the largest port in the state of Florida and of course located in the city of Tampa near downtown Tampa's Channel District. Dave's property spans a sprawling 2.48 acres of land and according to listing materials, the home was quote unquote structurally engineered with port concrete and rebar. Inside, the home offers over 4,000 square feet of space along with three bedrooms and four bathrooms, as well as polished concrete flooring for a modern feel. There's also a sea metal roof atop his crib and antique entrance doors that are over 150 years old. The home was built in 2010 and since living there, it's said that Dave has done some work to the place, including installing an in-ground pool and spa quite recently in 2021. We can also see that Dave has decorated the interiors with his own taste. The actor has truly made the place a home and it's where he loves to be with his wife and three dogs when he's not busy working. Dave's home features a striking great room with double height ceilings, a massive fireplace, and plenty of light, as well as an upper level overlooking the space. In fact, the open plan layout has 25 foot ceilings in some spaces and a lot of tempered double pane e-glass windows. The great room flows into the kitchen seamlessly, a space which Dave gave men's health a tour of along with his gym. This tour is about a year ago and not only can we catch a glimpse of the healthy foods that the actor keeps stacked in his massive stainless steel fridge, we also see that it's a new and more modern fridge with a glass front compared to the listing photos at the time of purchase. The rest of the kitchen seems more or less the same, offering slick stainless steel countertops, matching stainless appliances including double ovens and a warming drawer, gas top stove and a center island with snack bar seats. You can also see from that clip that Dave has a special room reserved for his impressive retro lunchbox collection. He's also transformed what looks like the garage into a massive home gym which is equipped with all the machines one could dream of. It looks nicer than most gyms I've seen so it's no wonder why Dave likes to spend so much time keeping fit in here. Also in the main residence, Dave's master suite, which is located upstairs, is entered through a beautiful 400 year old door from a palace in India that pivots open. Primary bedroom overlooks the center courtyard with a walkway that leads to the separate one bedroom guest suite with living area, bath and kitchenette. As mentioned, Dave also added a swimming pool to his sprawling property, which is no doubt a necessity in the Sunshine State. Elsewhere out back, his home has a variety of patio spaces to unwind and one large covered terrace boasting an outdoor fireplace. Now of course, since Dave has long lived in this home, he sold his former abode back a while, which was located in the area of Lutz, Florida. He resided here for about 10 years before moving to Tampa, and Lutz is an area located in Hillsborough County, Florida, United States, 
50 miles north of Tampa. His former home was slightly larger than his current place, but built back in 1993 and a lot less modern than where he's living today. We can't get much of a sense of the interior design style in the actor's former Let's Home, because all of the photos show the space unfurnished, but it looked quite updated and open plan in the photos from 2017 when the crib was last sold. According to listing materials, the 4,223 square foot home was thoughtfully renovated in recent years. And outside, the 1.5 acres of land were beautifully and professionally landscaped. Inside, the home boasted four bedrooms and five and a half baths, as well as multiple common areas that flowed nicely between one another. These common rooms were also well proportioned for family living or entertaining, and they were sun drenched thanks to many windows throughout. Not only does the home have a spacious kitchen with stainless steel appliances and granite counters, there's also a breakfast nook with fireplace. An additional culinary space is what listing materials call a one-of-a-kind wine and a butler's pantry, which you can see is a bonus room perfect for storage as well as food prep. Throughout Dave's former home, new and designer wood flooring is underfoot, along with a mix of tile and carpeting in other spaces. There's an airy family room which offers walls of glass sliders out to an adjoining terrace and a stone-faced fireplace sandwiched between two large windows. Aside from the handful of guests and family bedrooms, Dave's one-time master suite offers both his and hers luxe bathrooms. All the windows and doors in the home look out to the peaceful and natural conservation setting on the premises, where there's also a pond. The home itself boasts an upscale paved lanai or a covered pool space, where the sparkling swimming pool is 50 feet and also boasts a spa, this whole setup stretching the width of the entire home. Other bonuses include a separate side door entrance and a large three-car garage. Dave's one-time home in Lutz was part of Cheval, a private golf and country club community with 2,000 acres of cypress conservation and lakes, as well as included amenities like 24-hour manned gates, top-rated schools, two golf courses, tennis courts, community pool, and a clubhouse restaurant. In 2022, it was reported that Dave Bautista was adding another real estate venture in his current area of Tampa, Florida. But it might not be what you think. On Kennedy Boulevard across from University of Tampa, there's a somewhat undercover tattoo shop you might not even notice on first glance. Dave decided to open up a high-end tattoo studio in a space that used to be a boxing gym near his home, which was reportedly a long-time dream of his, calling a DC Inc. studio. And Dave said about this venture, I'm just the money guy. His partner in the business is his personal tattoo artist, John Corral, who has been operating in the Tampa Bay area for over 25 years. Bautista added, this is completely personal for me. I don't need this. My career is doing great, but this is like a clubhouse for me. I wanted to create an environment for people who want to get a tattoo but don't want to go into one of those tattoo parlors. It's intimidating and scary and your average person is uncomfortable in that environment. For DC Inc, they brought in over a half a dozen highly regarded tattoo artists who fetch up to $300 per hour to create detailed skin designs. The name DC Society Inc comes from Bautista's childhood home and his motto, Dream Chaser, as well as their hope that they create a space where tattoo artists and people who love tattoos feel comfortable hanging out. His business partner, Kural, said, we wanted to make it a society in that we have a feeling of family, but also a higher class society. We wanted to create an experience. Well, the Paris tattoo shop has a steampunk vibe with shiny black terrazzo floors and industrial touches like exposed ductwork work in a chain link fence offering a peep of the artists at work from the lobby. There are nods to Bautista's movie career as well with his movie posters along the walls such as Blade Runner 2049 and the 2019 buddy action comedy Stuber. Other upscale details include oversized black velvet seating and customer consultation tables, which are handmade slabs of oak and cedar held on cast iron bases made of cogs and gears. The tattoo machines here are specially made to operate silently as tiny needles jab skin with ink like mini sewing machines. The artists at DC Society Inc. do everything from vivid watercolor tattoos to time-consuming dot work that uses a series of small spots to create a striking visual effect. 
So I guess if you find yourself in the Tampa area looking for a tattoo, you can try and book an appointment here. For now though, that'll bring this Dave Bautista house tour to a close. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you could start any side venture of your choosing, be it a restaurant, a bar, a store, a charity, etc., what would you be your pick? Let me know what you would do if money wasn't an issue, anything at all, in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.